The Panzerwurf mine was developed by the German army for use by special tank killer infantry squads to provide them with a powerful standard weapon that could be carried and used by one man. It was a specialized form of anti-tank grenade that used a hollow charge warhead to defeat the target tank armor. To ensure that the warhead was actually facing the target armor, when it struck the tank, the grenade was fitted with a finite tail for stabilization and guidance. The Panzer Wurfmine was thrown at its target in a special manner. The grenade warhead had behind it a steel body attached to a wooden handle. The user gripped this handle and held it behind his back, with the warhead pointing vertically upwards. When ready, the user swung his arm forward and released the handle. As soon as the grenade was in flight, four canvas fins unfolded from the handle for guidance and stabilization, and the drogue effect of these fins maintained the warhead in its correct forward position, ready to have maximum effect as it struck. This sounds simple enough, but in practice the Panzerwurf mine was not an easy weapon to use effectively. For a start, the maximum possible range was limited by the strength and ability of the thrower, and was usually no more than 30 meters at best, and was frequently less. Accuracy could only be ensured by practice with special inner training versions, but despite these disadvantages, some of the special German anti-tank personnel greatly favored the Panzerwurf mine. Compared with other closing anti-tank weapons used by the Germans, the Panzerwurf mine was relatively small, light and handy. It was also potent for the warhead was made up of RDX and TNT in equal measures and weighed half kilogram. Combined with the hollow charge principle, this usually ensured penetration of even the thickest armor of nearly all Allied tanks. It also had the advantage of not requiring the user to approach the tank to place the granite on the popchen target, with all the attendant risk of such a tactic. Further safety was provided by the fact that the warhead was not fully fused until the grenade was in flight, for the act of the throwing also armored the fuse. Despite its success in German hands, the Panzerwurf mine was not copied closely by any of the Allies. Captured examples were used when they fell into Allied hands especially by the Red Army, but the Americans often misused them for they at first thought that they were meant to be thrown in the same manner as an oversized dart. Once the mistake had been discovered, special intelligence bulletins were soon issued to correct this practice. After 1945, the principle was used for a while by various Warsaw Pact nations, and in recent years the Egyptians have seen fit to copy the Panzerwurf mine almost exactly as part of the output of the new indigenous armaments industry. They have discovered that this type of anti-tank weapon is exactly suited to their infantry anti-tank tactics, and their version is reported to be quite capable of killing the most modern tanks. The German Panzerwurf mine was much favored by tank killer squads, for although it was a close-range weapon that could knock out even the heaviest Allied tanks, it was thrown in such a way that the hollow charge warhead was always in front to strike the tank armor first.